Hey YouTube, it's Monica and I'm here with my one year lock update. So let's take a second just to celebrate the fact that I've made it to a year. It's been real, it's been tough, but I made it. But seriously, it hasn't been that tough. It's actually been fairly easy. So made it to a year. I'm actually 13 months post um, installing my locks. I'm a little late on this video. Um, which I always am, so that's all good. I am going to stick a clip in from when I installed my locks. I installed them uh, using the interlock method, so the entire length of my hair is interlocked, and I'm going to continue to interlock. So here's just an up-close look at my hair. I don't know if this works, but my parts aren't perfect. That's okay to now so you can see the difference. So I know there's a bit of a difference now because now my hair definitely looks more lock like it's much thicker than what it was when I started out because I know one of the things that I freaked out about when after I installed them is like these are so skinny I need them to thicken up and so they did thicken up and I did get some lint I know in the beginning of my journey after I washed my hair I could not feel it on my neck so I know that it is growing it feels like slow progress but it's definitely progress so I'm excited about that I am still using my handy dandy crochet hook um, or latch hook whatever you want to call it. My regimen a year later is about the same. I shampoo when I can. I was going through a point where I was washing it like every couple days, once a week. I think I just went like three weeks without washing it. Don't tell my body. And then um, I don't condition every single time but I do condition my locks. So not an every time practice but a some of the time. Um, I do use oils in my locks. Um, I do try to keep it minimal though because I don't like I and I have never liked for my hair or myself in general to smell like hair products so I don't layer on products into my locks and I just don't want that build up either so I invested in avocado oil this is my primary oil that I go to when I'm putting oil in my hair you see I haven't even made a dent in it because I just I don't like for my hair to look or feel greasy so I don't want to put my hand in my hair and come back and I can see oil. So I, I think that's too greasy. If it's sitting on top of your strands, that means it's not penetrating your hair. It's not really doing anything but maybe giving you a false shine. I don't know. I don't like greasy hair when I was loose or even when I'm locked. So no, no extra grease, greasiness for me. I'll come close, try to give you a decent around the world of my hair. This is about a month since my last retightening.
here my hair is right after it's washed um it's very very wet so it's hanging a little bit longer than what it normally would after it shrinks up so once it's dry i'll come back and show you what it looks like but starting to get some hang time y'all it's actually sitting on my neck now so i mean now it looks like it's on my shoulder but once it dries it'll probably come up a little bit but yep the this is it these are my locks 